Welcome back, Internet people. My name is Ryan, and today we are playing Oblivion, and it is wonderful. Hi! Your shield arm looks strong. Okay, not talking to you anymore. Um, it's the middle of the night. I am gonna find a bed in this place. Mr. Gargives, there's beds here, right? I want to sleep among the books. Hard to find that Urlov guy. Why are there no beds here? Ah! Ah! The Dewey Decibel System was never meant for Alembics! Actually, what am I doing? I'm a magician now. Oh, uh, I'm an awful magician. Who am I kidding? This is much more efficient, sadly. It really shouldn't be, but it is. We're going to put you all ugly. I'm actually really pleased with myself. I'm getting pretty good at this. Oh, and one more. Yes, I do believe my. Oh. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, of course. And you, children of the sky, you have a special place. You can go. There. Floating. Get rid of all this nonsense. And this nonsense. Oh, 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 oh. Hi. What is it? There wasn't a bed in here. And then she stares at me in disbelief. Maybe this one called Mage's Quarters will have more beds for me to sleep in. Oh. Wondrous. Now I can go find that Erlov guy and be like, Hey look Erlov, I found you a hat. And he'll Hello, love evil. me forever, I hope. Hello. What's this? Some sort of alien artifact? It's a hat. Well, well. Romanus was right in sending you out there. <laughs> good work. I'll be sure and put in a good word for you. Wonderful. Fine. I'm glad you like your hat. Now, where's Ramanus? Do you know where Ramanus is? Hello. What, so I can just I can just have these. I'm gonna go sell them. How about a thousand? You're gold? trying to. No. How about a thousand gold? I can't do that. Hmm. I know. Well, how about a thousand gold? An excellent bargain. <sighs> oh, hello. Good work at Vatican. Jorol is quite pleased with the information now coming in about the site. There is another predicament which I believe you can also help resolve, if you feel ready for it. I'm ready. Excellent. You have become most reliable, and I assure you that the Council appreciates it. Now, to the matter at hand. In order to deal with the apparent growing problem of necromancers in Cyrodiil, the Council needs as much information as possible. Uh-oh. The mystic archives have been consulted with minimal success. Guild members are investigating other avenues, but I believe more can be learned here. What do I need to do? I'd like you to speak with Tarmina at the Mystic Archives. She is our specialist on Magica Arcana and has been helping gather information. I believe we have been asking her 
the wrong questions, taxing her too much with vague attempts to make sense of all that we know. Speak with her specifically about these black soul gems, if she knows anything about their powers or creation. An insight into their origins may lead us to those who are responsible for them. Okay, I can do that. Report back as soon as you can. I hope Darmina isn't mad that I may have taken every single book off of every single shelf in her mystic archives, but, uh... Hello? Uh, look, if you're here for information, I'm afraid you'll have to find it on your own. I'm swamped right now, up to my ears in necromancy. Not practicing it, mind you. Wouldn't want anyone to think I was involved in that sort of thing. I simply meant researching it. But I was sent to see you. Oh, of course you were. No doubt the Council is trying to get you to bother me further. I ran Karanya out of here just a short while ago and told them to leave me alone. I keep telling them I can't produce results if I'm not given any time. I'm not used to working under conditions like this. I just want you to tell me about Black Soul Gems, Tarmina. Hmm. Now that is a bit more specific. Finally, something I can respond to. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, there's one obscure text that references these gems. I believe it's still around here someplace. Unless Falkar never returned it. Falkar. The name of the book is Necromancer's Moon. I'm unclear on the origins of the text, but it does involve these gems you're interested in. I'm afraid you'll have to find it yourself. I'm so out of sorts with all these requests, I've lost track of most everything. It's very distressing. Necromancer's Goodbye. Moon. Oh. Why? Why did I do this? Why? Why did I do this? Maybe Falker hasn't returned yet. I really hope Falker hasn't returned it yet. No. Oh. Okay then. Brothers and sisters of the worm, despair not the child you now face for a necromancer's mood watches over us all as form ascended to godhood. Grand soul gems offered to him will be darkened and can be used to trap the souls of the unwitting, a feat even the great Nagasa would marvel at. Stay faithful to the order of the Lord. Okay, so it seems like they take a grand soul gem, do something to it on an altar, and then it becomes a black soul gem? And then what does a black soul gem do? Well met. Hi. Um, I found the book. A most interesting text, is it not? We are fortunate that at least one necromancer took the time to record the information. I am unfamiliar with a shade of the revenant described within the book, but I was never one to dabble in the more, shall we say, amoral arts. You may take that with you for now, if you wish. The council may have use for it. Please, ask them to return it quickly as I may need it again. Okay. Be seeing you. Hello, Evoker. Hello, Raminus Polis. Has Tarmina been of use in gathering information about the necromancers? As a matter of fact, she has. I got this fancy book. Excellent work. I believe this will be of use to the Council. I shall make sure they're made aware of its contents. Hmm. I've never heard of this Shade of the Revenant. Some sort of celestial phenomenon? If that's correct, then Bothiel would most likely know something about it, as the caretaker of the Orrery. She should be on university grounds. I think she's right behind you. Goodbye. Hello. Hello there. Is there something I can do for you? Um, I need to know what a shade of a revenant is. Revenant, you say? And it represents something in the heavens? It sounds familiar. Let me think. Ah, yes, now I remember. Falcor was here some time ago asking about just such a thing. Said it was for research. He had a large sheaf of notes with him about it. A shoal sheaf? I'm afraid I didn't have any more advice for him than I do for you. With the Ori in such a state of disrepair, I have no point of reference. 
Falcar did leave this behind. I think it fell from his notes as he left. I didn't pay it much attention, but perhaps it will be of use to you. Hastily scrawled note. The Dark Fisher, Fort Asterius, Fort Lynchel, Wendelback. Altars have been raised, and grants have been called. Watch the skies once a week. His grace shines down on us. Good day. That's weird. Well met. I think that Falker guy's got something going on. So, Falcar expressed interest in this revenant as well, and left this note behind, did he? I did not say that. Perhaps we should look into it for more clues. This lists several locations. The first is the Dark Fissure, which I recognize. It's a cave in the mountains, south of Chadenhall. If there is indeed an altar there, as the note suggests, I believe this cave is directly related to the contents of the book. Go to the Dark Fissure the next time this shade occurs. Search for any connection to what we've learned and report back. Please, be careful. Anything you find is of no use to us if you do not survive. I believe we are dealing with powerful forces here. Do not put yourself in harm's way if it can be avoided. Okay. Be careful. The problem is, I have no idea when this shade occurs. I guess I can just sort of go hang out there for a few days. What is this? Well, I guess this must be the altar that they use. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! I need to get back up there. I'm gonna hide. Okay. Now we wait. That word will feast on your soul. Let's go back. This seems like something worth waking up. Reminis pull us about. Have you been to the Dark Fissure yet? We need to know all we can about the Necromancers. Yes, I have. I saw them making a Dark Soul Gem. So you saw them? The altars must be infused with some kind of power to change over the soul gems. I shall pass the news on to the Council. Most troubling indeed to know that these are not merely myths. I also fear their numbers may be greater than we believed. You have again performed admirably. You have my thanks, and that of the Council as well. Wonderful. Well then, I guess I am probably ready for advancement then. You become more valuable to the yes, guild. Yes, yes, yes. Accept these robes. Okay. I'll wear those at some point, I'm assuming. Do you have anything more for me to do? Seek out Archmage Traven. He has personally requested that you see him for your next assignment. Fantastic. Be seen. Well then, I guess I'm going to have to... Okay, I guess I'm going out to speak to him next then. But we'll make that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, internet people. Thanks for watching.